McKinney's mayor says he's offering a reward from his own money for a tip that leads to the arrest and conviction of the person who sprayed racist and anti-Semitic graffiti all over a church. It's the second time the church has been targeted since July. Fox 4's Stephen Dahl live in McKinney tonight with more on this story. Stephen. Steve, as you mentioned, the first time was July 17th and then the second time was last Sunday and investigators are still trying to figure out who did it. Before services on Sunday, an employee at Stonebridge United Methodist Church in McKinney discovered these racist and anti-Semitic messages sprayed all over the building. It's, you know, white supremacist uh, hate speech that they uh, have put on our building. Swastikas on the doors, racial slurs on the walls. Some of the graffiti is now covered by a sheet. The church's dumpster was set on fire. The unsettling part, this isn't the first time this summer that it's happened. A similar incident happened on July 17th. A message scrawled on the front door Sunday said, quote, not my best work yet. I feel anger and frustration and at the same time compassion for somebody who has that much anger and hate in their life. Reverend Jeff Lust is the lead pastor. He says staff made sure the graffiti wasn't visible to the congregation when services started on Sunday. We don't preach hate here. Uh, we pray, preach and teach uh, the love of Christ. One of our slogans is we want to live and love like Jesus. And so, uh, and we believe Jesus loved all people, uh, not just some. McKinney Mayor George Fuller called the act cowardly. This is not who we are as a community at all. This is an indictment on one individual or some handful of individuals that represent the, the greatest stupidity in, in humanity, um, not who we are as a community. And he's offering a personal reward to find whoever did this. $5,000, anybody that, that can come forward, provide the police with uh, information that leads to the arrest and conviction. It's unacceptable. This is in my backyard. This is in, in the community that I live in. Um, and uh, this is not who we are. The church has a surveillance system, but it didn't have cameras that could capture the crime. Moving forward, Reverend Luss says he wants to enhance surveillance. Something like this makes you go through and check everything, uh, make sure everything is working. And so we've, we are, have done that, are doing that, uh, and stepping up what we can so far and trying to get, like I say, our security company here to help us with the next step. And again, today, Thursday, the McKinney Police Department didn't have any updates. They haven't given any suspect or vehicle description, so they're hoping someone saw something and will come forward.